mentioned before, we'll take a look at the papers to talk about the sad news that came to us in, yeah, on Sunday afternoon concerning the former uh, Super Falcons player and also the former coach of uh, Goodland Rangers FC and also you know, the assistant coach of uh, Nigeria's under-17 uh, girls as the Flamingos. Uh, she died on Saturday afternoon after battling with a uh, muscle uh, problem, mm -hmm. a kind of muscular disease that resurfaced later. She had it before, but it surfaced again. Yeah. Uh, she survived by three children and the husband, I mean, until her death, she it, it really, one of um, the best qualified coaches. You, you, you are talking about her being a pace setter. Yeah. I mean, a real sad story. Uh, a lady handling a male team, former player, uh, somebody who understands the game. And we've had the pleasure of being with her on set. And it's, it's, it's really sad. Every time we hear about this, uh, we always get reminded of the fact that uh, we're mere mortals mm -hmm. and this is a debt that we all owe. On, on our own part, uh, she has actually had a f fulfilling career. You know, at, at, as a player, she won everything that she could win. Mm -hmm. Then as a coach, she's, she blazed the trail. The trail yeah. Not many women coaches out there, and I'm talking about the whole world now, can come out to tell anybody that they've coached a male team in the league. You know, and this is what she's done. And I hope that she gets celebrated at any award ceremony or whatever it is that we're doing. I'm glad that the NFL have at least come out to uh, recognize the fact that um, she was one of them and she's passed on. But um, in coming days, I, I pray that uh, our family will uh, at least get the kind of uh, mm -hmm. support that they require at a time like this. The yeah. Lord uh, will give them the strength uh, and the fortitude to, to bear the loss. It is a sad it's, one indeed. It's, it's huge. Uh, there's nothing we can say uh, that I uh, can, you know, ease the pain. But, but I do pray that, like Shola said, uh, the family of Ajumal Tasha, we have uh, the fortitude uh, to bear the loss and, and may our soul uh, rest in peace. Okay, let's move on and uh, spend a few minutes we have left uh, taking a look at the papers. Let's start uh, with Complete Sports, uh, today's uh, edition. Of course, it's all about the Super Eagles. The camp opens uh, in Asaba. Uh, right there, you have Eagles Camp opens for Bafana Bafana uh, battle. You have stories around the Manchester Derby. Uh, you have a lot of interesting stories. Unfortunately, we don't have time. We'd have loved to get your last views about the Manchester Derby. But let me restrict you to the Super Eagles. Quickly. Yes, uh, it's a good one. This is a must win match for Nigeria. And I'm glad that the guys have started uh, arriving in good time. One other angle is the logistics. It looks like the NFF sort has sorted out logistics, yeah. which is very important. Very, very important. All right. Okay. On Sporting Life here, you have Ian Ocho and Yuku in town. These are the players that quickly, you know, get in. Agu, I know Moses Simon too. Uh, Gennett Roy is already in Lagos and his team will leave for Jerberg on Thursday evening. Okay, it's going to be um, like a checkout flight for them. And Igalo Dimote will Chanchun. Yeah, that's, 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 that's uh, one thing I don't mm. get. Like, he has got a whole lot of goals yeah. and he, it's China. I, I, I'm sorry, I've not been following the Chinese league that closely, but how do you get relegated like that? Yeah, I don't well, know. Michael, this team actually escaped relegation. <laughs> he wanted to have them and, you know, he, I thought he our guys right. were flying high or something. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> you mean of uh, Nigeria in Cameroon? Okay, of course, we don't have a choice. You can't really miss out from, you know, the nation's cup. Okay. Beat South Africa and you are almost there. The last one you have? Uh, Sport is on. Uh, that's the last uh, one here. All the other stories that we'll talk about are in there as well. Igus Camp opens and, um, you know, all right, Shala, before we let you go, a few seconds. There's no way you live without talking about Manchester City. A few seconds. I wanted to let it go, but I'm not letting it go anymore. A few seconds. Well, the, the best team won. The team that played the best, and uh, they had, they, there was no competition there. All These right. guys are defending champions. They left off on where they started. United have no excuses. They just were not good enough on the day. That's it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at Angie, but I'll continue whatever I have to say with Shala. Well, we're out of the studio. Shall I want to thank you for, for your time on the show today. I really enjoyed doing this with you. Thank you for having me one more time. All right. Thank you for allowing us to be uh, a part of your day. Wherever you are, try and be at the Teslim uh, Balago Stadium to enjoy uh, the uh, track and field, uh, Channel Sunday 17 track and field uh, championship. Uh, the semifinals and the finals uh, will be uh, today. I'm Yemi Adebayo. We'll see you tomorrow. And I'm Silamogbe. Bye for now.